there's a Fox article here, and their psychiatrist by the name of Dr. Keith Ablo sounds so so trivial that I'm wondering how he could have been a psychiatrist. I don't know what exam he took and so on, and um, he's castigating these young people for their Long Island party stories in which you know they're doing defecating drunkenness uh, urinating in public uh, one urinating in the sink uh, you know all kinds of dumb stuff and uh, he is so so pontifical and so super righteous that he's going beyond his competence now in the 90s when I was presenting stuff these white people in Florida thought I was crazy and they um, you know took my child away put her in foster care tried to get me in psychiatry try to lock me up and all that stuff because I was ahead of the game. See, when you're ahead of the white folks, it's a problem. Now, um, if this guy was listening or if he could have gotten my videos, might have given him some wisdom. I was saying that the enemy is trying to destroy the world. I mean, I'm talking about the devil now. I'm talking about the new world order people. And for the longest while, even before the Second and First World War, they've been plotting and planning and trying different things. And so they have people researching different things. And uh, basically what they've done, they look at the institutions that we have, education, family, religion, uh, the economy, uh, the politics, uh, sports, and war. And they've undermined all these institutions. Um, they make religion of no, it has no power today. Took away from parents, uh, one of the tools that they use to um, engender uh, discipline, the whip. Uh, the switch flogging some of these psychiatrists come saying that all this games and all this stuff when God says um, don't spare the child don't spare the rod and spoil the child hmm? and so on and I, I advance that sometimes kids have guilt problems when they do wrong and you just talk to them go in the corner they need is something to feel something and the crying and everything will be a, an amelioration of the guilt and the whole nine yards and they'll feel better but when you tell them it's okay son just go sit on the corner you're a good boy you just add on to the guilt and they're going to end up doing drugs and all that to, to compensate and to um, sort of subjugate that guilt feeling that they have. And then, of course, then go with the conscious problems and a whole variety of other problems happening. And and, um, and education, um, there's so much education resources that we expect everybody to go to college. And therefore, we have to um, bring in easy things so that people could get through college not understanding that some of these folks that go to college with these easy curriculum and so on won't be able to find a job because it's much more complex than their little minds could have uh, guided them through a little college course and a university course. I mean, right now we're graduating people down, down syndrome, <laughs> you know, kids as you have to remind them every time they have to have a helper and so on. That's the kind of education we have. And um, I could go on and show that all the institutions have been on the mind so that to be a superpower and have all the institutions on the mind, when you're ready to call on that superpower ship, it's not going to be there because all the institutions that support that are on the mind. You have um, um, people who will grow up and because of some um, sort of things they've missed in their lives, they won't have courage and they won't have confidence and so on to go there to get, you know, easy to get various mental problems on the battlefield. And so this is what he needs to be looking at. He needs to be looking at the genesis of the problem. It's not to get uh, irate and, and pontificate. Well, look how they're urinating in public. That's not the issue. And taking away the toys and grounding them for a week, expelling them from school, won't solve nothing. Because right now there's a movement of not expelling kids from school because they believe when you expel them from school, they just stay home and watch movies and just walk around the neighborhood and get themselves into trouble. And plus, they, they lag behind schoolwork because they're not even, even when they're going to school, they're not studying, okay, doing homework or anything, much as when they're suspended from school. They're not going to study anything. And um, sometimes uh, these kids that are problems, they should just go on to pick corn and, and you know, cotton and so on. Um, but of course, that is for black folks and other people, you know, white folks, kids, they're supposed to go to Yale and Harvard and so on. And, and, and it's unfortunate all these kids that are doing this. Um, um, L -I -L Long Island party stories are white folks um, 
I guess blacks have a different hustle in which they need this all kinds of money and this and that so they don't have the leisure to do, do these stuff that these um, uh, kids are doing but um, you know so even psychiatry thought that they had solutions oh you could take God out of schools you could take out parental power and even in the schools you don't have power a student could watch your face and say anything and do whatever and you just have to say okay when you're ready sit down and let us go forward obstructing the school and the education of others whereas you need to have schools for people who have a certain ability now i'm talking about games where these white folks have tests that could make white folks pass or them look smart i'm talking about a real game that can show people of all races who have talent that's why i'm talking about you teach something in school and you ask them to reproduce that at the end of the year and those who do exceptionally well go on to top schools and the rest just go uh, pick corn but those who can't even get four percent all right um write me a composition which is what they've studied all the years they're going to show you the phrase and the, and the clause and the punctuation and the capitalization and all these kind of various principles you learn in, in writing it doesn't have to be a story that is a detective it could be fictitious but they're demonstrating those abilities and so on they know they take times tables uh, i recall sometimes uh on the bus these kids they, they're not talking about school i was at a certain uh, meeting and uh, the superintendent of a certain district was there and uh, they're talking in terms of um uh, if you suspend my child they need to give the child some assignments so the child can be studying at home so i had to let them know that it's a, it's the textbook they're studying from okay you have the textbook that's where they're studying from. Just find out which chapters you're working on and just study those. Just study it, know it, ask yourself questions about it. You know, know the stuff. All right? They don't have to give you nothing. Just study that because I know in some things in the Caribbean, what guys will do, they find that the class is wasting their time. And um, in their home time, they're going ahead studying on. And the little time they have in school and so forth, they do their homework and the homework first. And they're going ahead, going ahead, going ahead, and challenging themselves, as it were. Okay? So you can't spank the kids in school. Um, parents can't spank them at home. Only cops can shoot them and bust their head with that baton or taser them. Um, religion today is just a joke. It's about um, who got more status and who got more money and who dressed well and who got position or whatever. That's what it is. It's nothing about. This is what God says because they malign the Bible. You can't preach that, this is that, and so on. And, and, and I mean, so many. F oh, brother. But um, they undermine education to such an extent now that where folks are just reinventing the wheel. They're, they're doing things and saying things that if they had studied the work, they wouldn't do and say such things. I, I mean, how you see some kids going to school? The pants, these girls, the pants cut from a little being out of panty. In, in lines across the scene all the skin right and it's tight and they're wearing a shirt that's up over above the navel and they come into school and it's like no problem now if if they had been into religion and bible well be studying the work and understand that you know there's decency backed up by religion saying that god expects you to bring glory and honor to him the way you dress the way you eat the way you talk the way you do everything and he sees you, he's always there, so that even if another party in a dungeon, well, you won't have parties and so on, but wherever you are, you know he's there, and you'll behave yourself in a way that your God is present and so on and so forth. Um, uh, the economy today, uh, I mean, they're talking about the 1%. That's a non-issue. There can always be people who are going to be efficient and deny themselves, deny themselves things and save their money, invest it, and the rest is going to come and buy and give them theirs. And if they get rich, you can't now come back and say, oh, the 99% don't have nothing. I mean, as I said, if you give everybody everything, everybody get a million dollars real quick. Some people are going to be broke again at the corner begging. And some people are going to be getting all that money. Just going to be like 1%. They get all the money. And it's not, I don't understand why they feel that there's a problem. Um, you know, politics today, you have these lobbies, lobbyists who are, the enemy but they're lobbying let's get prayer out of school let us get spanking out of school let's uh do this let's do that let's go to war over there let's do this and they don't understand that many of these lobby lobbyists are working for the new world order and antichrist and they have an agenda and they're getting things done systematically or, or if not the antichrist they're working with the devil but 
from birth we put these kids into the Halloween costumes and um, we leave them now they go on and doing a variety of other evil magic Ouija board all the stuff when they get into that they don't have no respect for the body and the body functions and nobody so to, to be with a psychiatrist here who's talking crazy that's not a solution the solution is we got to go back to the basics and then on the other hand their parents even he of himself I don't know him but I better don't go there you know we drink we do drugs we um, have women working now and when you do drugs and drink and smoke and all that you're diminishing your DNA so that um, when you and the wife would be doing the same things come together your DNA in those uh, ovum and the um, spermatosa sp sperm spermatosa yeah sperm um, basically are sort of not up to par they, they're not what they should have been so that these kids now okay now um, the mom is working and the society has come to the place now where we, we're trying to get away from traditional things and we come up trying to reinvent the wheel that women could do just what men are doing and there's no difference between the sexes you see that in schools the girls and the boys doing the same thing them girls um, doing strength things they um, on this you know you, you, you're holding this and you're moving your hand and you're going across like a ladder straight across and then later on they say yeah, I was a tomboy so I want a girl to marry and plus then I want to join the military but in real terms women are special and women need to understand this and we need to tell them it they may not like to hear it but you got to tell them it this is not good for you girl I mean womanhood is such a, a, a very profound uh, experience and relationship that you don't have time for skating and scooting and doing a whole bunch of stuff that these girls involved with you can do that to the detriment of other things learning about medicine so you can take care of your own health your husband your kids health uh, nutrition um, something that can't even sew or iron you know um, no can't cook as I said that so that they get in a relationship and now she's expecting a man to cook oh my you cook better than me why don't you cook and so on and um, you know and, and, and we have boys doing what girls should be doing and girls doing what men supposed to be doing training the boys how to cook and to wash and to iron and folks don't understand that this could cause problems because I mean traditionally how things are done it's because of a whole right things what women are what they can do and the whole nine yards um, a pregnant woman for example if you have twins and both of them are pregnant well maybe you want to say the same man sperms whatever but one is working and one is staying at home which child you think is going to be born healthier and have a healthier constitution because in the development of that um, zygote that prenatal thing that neonate those different phases that's going through it seems to me that um, if the woman is at home resting and this phase is whatever it's doing is causing her something she could go and lie down but she went a job she can't do that and um, even before pregnancy women just get tired all through the day every day don't be the same this is why they stayed at home so they could go to bed and they could sit down and just chill I mean women are like iron something feeling good but you just got to go out and get a cheese for the family I mean it would be funny that um, the family don't have none to eat and you telling you I'm feeling good whatever you go sometimes you die sometimes you live okay that's the man's role we go to war we get shoot up we protecting the women and the kids and so on and, um, and 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 so the phases and then the drinking coffee the smoking or in an environment where smoke is happening in my drink some then do drugs once some of these people on Skid Row tell me oh, I don't do drugs when I'm pregnant yeah right I mean it's not something that she has authority over you be using drugs your will and, and emotions all that thing are compromised there's no way she could tell me I could resist drugs even when I'm pregnant and then soon she finished pregnant you know what I mean that's just a joke just take the kids when they're born because they're, they're drug ridden and so um, the, the psychiatrist I find is too trivial and the way he's approaching this thing is so elementary that no wonder we have any problems because they thought that they were God on earth they know how they could use drugs and they could use old talk and they could reform people when it's only God who could reform people God is the only one who could convert somebody which is what you're trying to do change them from one from bad to good change them from over here to over there at 360 degrees sometimes or 180 at least is only God could do that 
psychiatrists are molesting kids. They all drug head, crazy, all them. You know what I mean? So I hope they come to a place where they realize that we've made a mistake and go back to the drawing table. You know, encourage women to, you know, take care of themselves.